Hi, I'm Judy, and I'm going to show you how to use the color poster machine. When you come to the LRC South to use the poster machine, the easiest thing to do is make sure that your documents are already completed before you come to the building. This is going to save you a lot of time. You can use any program you want at home to create your document. If you want to do it on Word or PowerPoint, just make sure that when you save it, you save it as a PDF. That's going to ensure that it prints correctly when you come here. Once you save your document to a PDF, you can put it onto a USB drive or just email it to yourself. Then you can open it up when you get here in the center. It's very easy to do. Come on over and I'll show you how. Make sure you download it to the desktop using this button here in the top right corner. You can save it directly to the desktop. Once it opens again as a PDF, go to File and Print. Check your printer. That's the first thing you need to do. The Color Laser Jet is a regular printer. If you want a poster, we need to go to the Canon printer. Also check your print preview. Obviously, if you're using a poster printer, you don't want an 8.5 by 11, and we want to make sure we're filling all the space. So the first thing we're going to do is make it a landscape so it fills the space, and now we have to change the size of the paper we're using. To do that, we're going to go up here to Properties. When this new window pops up, we're going to check Page Setup. We're going to have to change our page size. And don't worry, there are detailed directions right here next to the computer for you. We're going to go here to ISOA. ISOA1 is our large size poster. You can see here, it's about 24 by 33. ISOA2 is the small size poster. It's about 17 by 24. We're going to choose the small size. Since I'm choosing a small size, there is one more step. I want to go right down here and rotate my page. If you look at the preview here, I'm going to have to trim all that white on the poster the way it is now. If I rotate the page, I'm going to conserve paper and I won't really have any trimming to do. So when all of this looks correct, my size is correct, my preview from the poster printer looks correct, I can hit OK. Now I go back to the main screen, I double check I'm on my Canon printer, my size is correct, my image is filling the entire screen, all I have to do now is hit print. Once it's finished, just let it dry for a few minutes if you want to laminate it. And just remember when you're selecting images to make sure that you're using the highest resolution you can because whatever you put in is going to be what comes out.